Greetings and salutations, mortals. My name is Rastabon, and <laughs> I've got a funny story for you. So, I was playing this for about 45 minutes, almost got to the end, when suddenly I realized that the recording didn't pick up anything that I was saying. So here we are, and I'm hoping and praying that this works, because guess what? We're doing the game again. I'm going to skip past the stuff that I've already done, alright? We still can't go in here, right? Nope. Okay. Night one. Hopefully, hopefully by the end of this, I'll be a boogeyman expert. Well, that's the end of the first night. So, guess we're good there. Yay. Oh, wait. I didn't read this, did I? Okay. House tips. Find the pink flashlight and return to your room to continue the nights. Find useful items around the house to help you. Never go in the basement. Turning lights on will make the room safer. Okay, so, yeah, I probably should have read that first. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right, so there was a cassette after the first night. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this into the cassette player and listen to it. Apparently, there are cassettes scattered all around the house, uh, one after each night. Do you know who I am, Alicia? Yes. You're here because of the voices, right? Yes, I'm here to help you understand what they are. You hear the voices in the night, Alicia? Yes. Where are they coming from? What do they say? Whispers to me that I need to leave the house, that it's not safe. Voices know what they're saying. All right, so pay close attention to where that bear is right now. It's there. Right there. It'll come in handy later, maybe. Hooray! Night two is done! Alright, now we can see night three. We are at the point at which we left off, and we can properly continue the episode. Oh look, the oblong structures! And my little toy thing is still there. That's wonderful! Alright, so now you may notice a small change. Here, I'll go over to this door just to show you. So, you open it up slightly. You try it a few times, and you see, yeah, you see it now, don't ya? You had a boogeyman, he's out for us! He's out to get us. He's out for our money, for our women and children, for our small children, and our women. It's weird. Dear Jones family, the previous owners were in a rush to leave. They may have forgotten or left some things behind. Anything left in the house during the time of sale are now rightfully yours. Yay, I get to keep that old sock I found. Though why was it oozing? Ugh. So feel free to do whatever you like with any remaining items in the house. If you have any other inquiries, please do not hesitate to con... 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 Uh, con to phone me. <laughs> Sincerely, Katie Leach, area sales manager. Once again, the leech proves that she is the best. We've got the basement. We could go down into the basement. Oh, I think I just might. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah, you lured me to my death one too many times. Eh, yeah. We're conquering this, baby! We're gonna do this! We're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it. Whatever comes naturally. Okay, so we're gonna find this. We're gonna find this weirdo. We're gonna find him wherever he pops up. You've got lights all over the place. We See? See what I tell you? You had to pay attention to where the bear was! Because the bear has moved. That bear has moved. No! No! Just go! You know, the closet is only the second favorite place for the bogeyman. Oh, you don't say! What's the first? Under the bed. Everybody knows that. Oh, great! Thank you! At least he's not under there now. Thunder strikes. Perfect. At least nature is obeying me. Oh, and now Kermit the Frog has lost his ethereal power. Oh, get, get out from under there! Over there! Wherever you are! don't need you to crawl around the air ducts. Ducks are bad for you! Oh, that sounded weird. Why did I say that? Ducks are bad for you, or is it ducts? Ducks or ducts? I can't tell which. Oh, I heard something. Oh, I knew it. Hi, friend. Yeah. You better run away from my flashlight. We're playing flashlight tag in here. That's all this game really is, right? It's just... It's a game modeling flashlight tag. Oh, get out from there! Yeah! 
Leave my teddy bear alone. Really, I think the boogeyman's just kind of a crappy guy. He strikes only at night, when you can't find him or do anything about it. What? What? Could you get out of there, whatever you're doing? Right? You aren't there, you are there, I don't care. Just walk away, please. I don't, I don't want this. Uh, what did I say? I am far too brave now to be scared by anything that this game has to throw at me. Could you stop? I'm trying to say how brave I am. With my cracking voice! I saw you. I saw you walk up to that door. I saw you moseying on down the corridor, but, you know, it just didn't occur to me to stop you. Could, could you. Could... Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Listen to this carefully, this phone call. Alright? I'm gonna play it backwards and it's gonna actually say something, okay? Listen closely. I hope you enjoyed that. That lovely message. Because all I heard was, you I smell. Why do I smell? Is that what he's starting to say? I'm almost certain. Why do I smell? Well, you obviously haven't tried deodorant. Let's just grab a battery. There we go. Oh, come on! How long was I under there? Ugh. Well, now I'm going to have to pay extra close attention. You know what? Here. Let's deploy. Okay. They're deployed. I'll be able to see now. Red, green, yellow. Activate. RGY. Go. We've got this. Huh? Huh? What's that? You aren't gonna do anything? I'm just gonna play my music box? I know what you are now. I read the book. I mean, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I read it. I know what you are. Weird. Astral projection weirdos. I have way too many toys for my own good by the way. I Need to get rid of some of these donate to goodwill or something. I, I don't need this many Especially that monkey that monkey can go first. Oh Lovely light the light of day blesses me with his presence. I'm so happy and excited and joyful about this present Hmm <sighs> Ugh, boy, staying up all night really took it out of me. Mm. All right. Well, obviously, nothing else except breathing here is gonna be going on. So, um, uh, I think this is about where I'm gonna end this next second episode. But I think, honest. Oh, hi, Dolores. I think honestly, things are going to be looking up for me. So I think the uh, next episode is gonna be. Very, very normal. Maybe we'll see a little bit of Dolores. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. As always, please leave a comment to ward me against the monsters so that I might live to see another day. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been a Rastabon pontification. Let's go with that for now. And, <laughs> oh, hi, Dolores. I love life.